Welcome back to Manum Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall see what's going on on a lovely island for holiday today, where it's honestly quite hot um, right now here in the UK, I would say. Um, it's gotten a little bit cooler now. It's around 5 pm, I suppose. The sun, well, the sun's not really going to be setting until like three hours' time, but you know, I, I suppose more cloud cover has come by. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's getting quite warm and that sort of thing. Um, and it's only going to get warm. I believe it's going to be like 30 something, 33 degrees or something Celsius tomorrow, which is pretty crazy for the UK. So we, we've got that to look forward to. So, you know, hopefully you're all enjoying the summer weather or if you're not, then fair enough. But here on Fornholo, it's super rainy. So we'll see how that goes. Hello everyone, right now on Fornholo, it's 5.08 p.m. on Thursday, June 16th, 2022. We've got label visiting. Um, what should I talk about? Uh, I've started recording the next series, which is going to follow up from Chicory. Um, and you you might be like, so that's the story, uh, the story Let's Play slot, so you must be playing another story game. Um, as it turns out, no, um, because this game was not a story focused. I was like, I, I didn't think it was that story focused, but I thought there was an element of a story and the element of a story is not really any story at all. Um, so I suppose that's sort of... Um, uh, <laughs> What's the word? Not the bounce back, but the, the downside of not really looking up at anything really about the games is that uh, I didn't realise that this game I'm playing does not really have much in the way of story. <laughs> um, you might be like, oh, you're, aren't you playing Grisfo? Uh, that, that's quite, like, I think that's quite story focused and it was very, very atmospheric and that sort of thing. I'm not actually playing Gris. I did say I was going to play Gris um, after Chicory, but um, I kind of want an, a series which is going to take me all through July and then to the end where I don't have to draw any thumbnail arts because that's when art fight's happening and I don't want to be drawing any other um, things unnecessarily unnecessarily for the YouTube channel and Gris is only about two and a bit hours so that would only take me halfway through July and I was like okay what about Frog Detective if I add those on and like, then I had to draw three different thumbnail arts um, which I'm, it's something I'd rather do after July rather than during July um, so I, I needed to find a story based game which I wanted to play which was about five or six hours long so I'm playing this game and it's not story based as it turns out but whatever but I think it's kind of fine because Pyre right now we're playing was is meant to be the mechanics game slot but it turns out it's far more story based than I expected so if anything it's more like Pyre is my story based game and then um, this game which I'm going to play but I'm not going to spoil for you um, is the mechanics based game it's not really that mechanics it's just sort of like a silly like light-hearted game which I, I guess that's kind of like what the story game slots for sort of iffy <laughs> And of course, you, you can leave your guesses of what the game what the game is. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think what a nice clue would be. Okay, it's a clue. It's not it's not Grissom. It's not either of the Frog Detectives. You you know it takes about at least according to how long to beat. It says it takes about five to six hours to complete. I don't know if that's a hundred percent or not. Actually, you know I can look at that. Hold on, hold on. How long to beat? <laughs> Are these guess games fun? Okay, the main story is about six hours. Main plus extras is about eight hours. Um, if it's rushed, it's about five hours. So, you know, that, that should take me all the way through July to about halfway through August. And hopefully this will offset, um, this will be offset. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a shorter game because the most annoying thing right now is that two of, two of my series have both finished and now I need to draw two thumbnail arts. Luckily, this thumbnail art is another clue. It's very simplistic art style. <laughs> um, along with Steven Sausage Roll, which is coming after Babba's You. That's also an incredibly simple art style. L luckily, puzzle games tend to have very simple art styles most of the time, apart from, you know, The Witness and Talos Principle. Those, those are two very big exceptions, I suppose, to rule. Um, this game has an incredibly simplistic art style. I have not decided whether I'm going to stick... how closely I'm going to stick to their art style. Um, I'll be honest. It'll, it'll probably just be de-drawn as normal, I suppose, with, with the art style, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I just need to think exactly how I'm going to portray everything, but it's, it's very simplistic. Um, I have spoken about it before in Animal Crossing, but I think it was about a year ago or something. It was it was during it was during during like some sort of indie developer showcase. Um, I think I brought it up, or if I didn't bring it up, but this is where I heard about it. It was a game I, I heard about from that um, showcase. I think it was called the Kawaii Direct or something or something. The cute direct. It's basically like an you know, obviously a player for Nintendo Direct, but it showed only like um, cute games of that sort of thing. Um, that's when I first discovered about it. And there's been so many games since I wishlisted from that um, Direct and quite a few have come out. And I didn't realize this one came out even more so. I didn't realize I already had this game, which I got in an uh, itch.io bundle. So I was just like, I was looking for my itch.io um, bundle. Um, luckily it was a bundle I recommended a load of other people to, to get. Like I posted it out oh, on my own like personal circle of friends discord. I set my lamp there if that's what you're wondering. Um, and I, I shortlisted basically a load of games which I thought were worth checking out and this one was on there and I was like, oh, I didn't realise this game was in that bundle. <laughs> I should actually play it. You know, I checked it out and I was like, let's do it. Because I was, I was looking through my Steam library, I was deciding what to play because I was going to play, 
yeah, I, I was going to play Grace, but as I said, it's not long enough um, for July, and July is an awkward timing where I basically only want to be recording Animal Crossing videos for all of July. Um, just to keep things easy for, for me, because, you know, art fight takes up a long... Well, it doesn't take up that much time, but, you know, <laughs> takes up a lot of my um, recreational energy, shall I say. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> So, it's not that. Um, oh yeah, I was looking for my Steam library, looking for other games I want to play. And one thing I did consider was Papers, Please, because it's kind of story driven, but it's also kind of puzzle based at the same time. So I was sort of like, tenuously, I'm not sure if I should do that, because Bad Rose U and Steven Tosser Jaws are both very, very, like, straight into the puzzle sort, like, puzzle favoured games, right? So I, I feel like it'd be weird if I had an extraordinarily puzzle focused game, and then um, my story game was also a puzzle game. <laughs> If you understand me. So I, I wanted something which was story focused, but not that story focused. Because, you know, Pi right now is incredibly story focused. It's basically a visual novel, but also a sports game at the same time. Which is a bit of a weird combination, but I, I do enjoy it quite a lot. Um, I've slightly misjudged on how story focused this game I'm going to play is, but still. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a lot of fun time playing with it, so I don't know. Maybe Pi and um, this game should switch time slots, I'm not really sure. Um, that, that might be a thing that will happen. I'm not really sure. It, it, it sort of depends when Pyre finishes. Because a mechanical game needs to finish um, be where Pyre is. So I think I think this game will just take up a story slot and we'll just pretend it's a story game despite the fact it's not a rule. You know, we'll just have two Pyre uh, not Pyre games, two mechanical games running at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to give um, away any more about the game that I'm going to play. <laughs> Hopefully it's a fun sort of little guessing game. It's not really much of a guessing game. I haven't really given you many clues. I think the developers are French, if that's another uh, another clue that you, <laughs> you particularly want. And um, the little tagline I dropped at the start of start of uh, the episode, you know, you know, the let's see what's going on for Hollow today, but for that, for that game is an uh, iconic, I suppose, sort of French phrase. <laughs> and no, it's not c'est la vie. Um, and it's not chashi pa, chashi nem, no, chashi um pa pa, no, chashi um pa pipe, something like that. <laughs> it's not, it's neither of those. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think how many obscure clues I can sort of give away without actually giving away what the game is. It's, it's going to be incredible if someone actually got it from this. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. It has a fantastic opening theme. Like title theme is what I'll say. It's it's it, it really gave me bug snacks energy for the title theme, and I was like, this is fantastic. Okay, I think that's enough clues. If you, you'll see it. Um, you'll see it in about two weeks' time. I think is when Chickaree's going to end, and you might be like, two weeks. That's so so far away. Well, yes, but that's because I'm trying to build up a, a rather large backlog. Um, as I said, because I want things to be pre-recorded through July. I don't know how far through my backlog I've gotten. I'm I'm, I'm only through the first week of J July, right now. I need to record. Some more power and the next puzzle game as well. Um, but luckily, these splash arts, uh, the arts are not going to be too difficult. In fact, I'm going to create um, the Clip Studio art um, file that I, I will use to actually make this thumbnail art in the first place. And to get open the, what's it called? Stephen Sausage Roll one. Copy and paste the references over. Obviously, de delete the Stephen Sausage Roll references and put. <laughs> ref and get some online images of references technically i don't think that these should be displayed but hopefully it's fine i'll have a look maybe i can go on their website do we have like a media a media thing i'm not really sure let's see oh, oh press it's always very very useful when they've got um logos and icons and images <laughs> I suppose on their website, so I can actually um, utilize these as references. Um, I'm not sure what these sort of which image I want to to be take over. This is a lot of images. It's not not exactly what I was in, intending from the start, but uh, they have a they have a very, rather generic splash art, which I will probably use as the core basis of my actual um, thumbnail art. There's a, a, a bit behind. A peek behind the curtain and see the sort of process. Yeah, but, but this is the one I was looking for. But, but this is a star I will be emulating probably. And then just in case I will get. Oh no, but this is this is probably a better one. I think I think we'll, we'll emulate this style. Might make a bit more sense. There we go. Save this. Um, back up. My art. Now you now you know the contents of my my YouTube folders. I can put away Chicory. It's a finished series. 
new folder. Uh -huh. And then save as Clip Studio file. Uh -huh. Wonderful. I'm surprised I haven't accidentally said um, the thing yet. Anyway, guessing games. What do y'all think about guessing games? But we had to sort of give clues and whatnot to try and get a little bit closer to whatever this person's thinking of. I mean, it's basically kind of like I Spy. <laughs> no, it's not really like I Spy now. I think about it, but I Spy, you don't really give clues out about what you're saying. The only clue you give is like I Spy the first letter or whatever you think. But of course, if, you, if you're against someone who's particularly tricksy and doesn't, you know, want to do stuff in the spirit of I Spy, they'll give you a very like obscure thing. They'll be like, oh, I don't know, A. And they'll be like, A, what could, what could A be? And then you'll be like, air rated chocolate bar. I'm like, what? what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you do something like that? Um... You might be like, what the heck's an aerated chocolate bar? We, we have these chocolate bars in, in Britain called Aeros, which by the way, I haven't had for like... I think the last time I had it was probably in primary school. I don't... I, I also am not sure if I've seen them since. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, I've seen they're still in business. I've seen they're still doing well. Oh my word, but the videos are still uploading. The video sounds like 10 gigabytes, which is, you know, quite quite large from what I expected. But, you know, sometimes it happens with certain things. I feel like I should crack my window open a little bit, but I don't... It was a bit noisy outside earlier, so I thought... I closed my window. <laughs> and I must say, I was probably quite delusional when I was actually recording the actual episode because I was like, oh, it's so hot. But anyway, we're, we're going to record this episode. We're going to vibe. Guessing games. I don't know. Is it fun Fun doing guessing games? I think it's kind of fun. My, I, I must say my wrist hurts a little bit, so I might play one-handed for a little bit um, while I do some like carpal tunnel sort of stre stretches in my my wrist because the last thing I want is, you know, for a problem to occur with my wrist seeing as how vital it is for me to actually use it for both drawing and other things. Um, you might say, hey, do you have like a, a keyboard support for your wrist? I, I do actually. I bought I bought one on Amazon a while back. I don't know if it's particularly any good because I've seen people say it's not necessarily that good because you end up sort of like pressing against the nerves as you rest against the keyboard to actually um, type and like use a mouse and that sort of thing. Um, it's especially bad for the mouse because you keep your like hand in one place and you sort of just like rotate your wrist rather than moving your whole arm which is what you're meant to be doing I think while utilizing a mouse. Um, so it might be like what do, what do you do to combat this? Sometimes I just use my mouse left-handed instead of right-handed <laughs> to be perfectly honest. It depends what you're doing and how accurate you need to be. Um, a lot of the time I can type left-handed actually quite quickly. Um, not, not extremely quickly, not like 80 words per minute, maybe like 30 words per minute or something which is still decently fast considering I'm only typing on one hand I think. Um, maybe I could do it even faster. I honestly don't know. I've, I've never tested my left-handed typing ability <laughs> by itself. I don't know. What other sort of guessing games could we do? How about guessing game? I'm, I'm thinking of a villager. Animal Crossing villager. Can you try and guess who it is? I'll give you a clue. I haven't actually thought of a villager yet. Okay, I've, I've thought of a villager. Um, I don't actually know what personality we are. I'm gonna... <laughs> I think they're normal. Or... <laughs> I, guess, I guess this is something I should look up. New Horizons This villager And I hope you got a villager in mind What? Are they snooty? Never mind <laughs> Something something told me they were snooty But I'm like no But they look like a normal villager That sort of thing <laughs> That's my hint I thought they were a normal villager But um, they're actually snooty um, They have bottom eyelashes um, I'll tell you their body Comprises of three, three main colours 3.5 main colours, maybe? <laughs> what sort of obscure hints can I give? Um, apparently they're a Gemini. That's when my birthday is. Um, I, I don't think... They've never been on Fawn Hollow, I'm pretty sure. And I'm also pretty sure we've never... Well, actually, been, okay, when I say never been, I mean they've never been a permanent resident on Fawn Hollow. And they've, I don't think we've ever done their Happy and Paradise customization, which I also don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm on this weird site instead of Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the best, so I don't know why I'm on IGN for some reason. Um, hello Lily again. I don't know why I, I went in here. I know you're not the. I know you're not the crafter. Let's see. They've appeared in every single game of Animal Crossing. They've, they did not appear in the Animal Crossing film though. Delbert Snowmoney. I forgot what it's called. I know. I just remembered it probably. This. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> their Japanese name is a very common name for their species of animal. Nearly gave it away there. <laughs> I suppose the fewer the fewer hints that you manage to guess it in, the better you've done. Um, let's see. Let's see New Horizons. What, what can we say about them? 
<laughs> Such specific knowledge. I don't know if anyone's going to get this. Snooty B type. Um, they have a blue phone. No, that's a default phone. I don't know what default and final phone is. The default phone is blue. The final phone is traditional one fabric eight. Mm -hmm. Favourite styles, cool and elegant. Favourite colours, grey and blue. Hobby, fashion. By now you could probably guess it, I think. <laughs> I, I can't imagine there's that many Sneety Bee personality. Villagers. Um, it's nothing. M maybe there is, I don't know. Sneety Villager dialogue? That's not what I wanted. I want like a, a list of all the Sneety Bee villagers. Personality subtypes. Snooty New Horizons. That's not used about horizons, but okay, you Google understands what I'm saying. A and B personality types, okay. Snooty. Okay. It turns out was that Snooty B was the one where it was just much more populous. There's a lot a lot more um Snooty B villagers. And I think this will be a definitive hint. <laughs> no, it's not a definitive hint. They have an asymmet asymmetric um design, I would say. Strongly asymmetric. Not 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 just like a little bit asymmetric, strongly asymmetric, I'd say. And by now you might be like I think I know who it is. <laughs> Final hint, they're a cat. That's right, I was thinking of Pearl. Wow, what an amazing guessing game. It's kind of weird doing a guessing game one-sided because I have, I have no sort of sense of feedback. I don't know if you're getting close. You, I mean, you might have already guessed Pearl ages ago and I couldn't, couldn't really like validate it myself. Let's just say if you if you took one hint, um, I suppose you're, you're either incredibly lucky or you're God, you, you can get 100 points and then you can Minus or five points for every other clue you needed. I don't know if I gave out 20 clues, I'm going to be perfectly honest, but, you know, as a rough ballpark estimation, there you go. It was a bit of a, a guessing game for you. A bit difficult, you know, out of 400 villagers to guess. <laughs> I, I always like flexing the number, oh, 413 villagers in New Horizons, because it's stuck in my mind ever since I'm doing my tier list. And, and in retrospect, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Obviously, I know why I did it. My tier list is a little bit of fun, but... 413 villages. I, d I don't know why I said so much about every single one of them. Is a, is a sort of long and short of it. 30 seconds on each of them was definitely far too long. I mean, my, my initial plans, if you didn't know, for that was 10 seconds for each of them. But, you know, obviously that didn't last very long. They got. Uh, what are you thinking about? Uh, we haven't actually read out what villages I have been saying, Bratis. Oh, I forgot your voice, Warner. Pop, pop quiz. What do you think I'm thinking about right now? Novels. <laughs> That's right. I was thinking about the one I was reading at bedtime last night, dearie. I've read it before, but it's so good. It's the second book by the author of Yo, Change of Flow. <laughs> Is it a rapping book? Not really sure what to say to that. Yeah, L Lily's got Lily's got the raspy voice and Fauna's got the, the clear voice. I'll say. I, I think that's how I've done it in the past. Maybe? I don't really recall. And then for Snooty Villages, Vivian's got the higher voice and Mila's got the lower voice. <laughs> but that's just how I distinguish them in my heart, in my mind. The, the, the same villages personality types but different voices um I don't know what to talk about <laughs> I don't I don't know why I'm here oh I was meant to do the, the nook mile purchasing stuff wasn't I do you, can, can we purchase just literally everything I suppose we could I think but there's a limit of how much we can purchase isn't there a really storage said I want like Sign off? What? Oh. <laughs> I, I thought it meant, like, sign off on, like, receiving a parcel or something. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Details. I, I would just like an easy way to see if I bought these before. Which is the annoying thing, right? You can't do. For whatever reason. ABD storage said. Shed. Like, is there a, a fast way to see if I've... Which of these I've, I've got before? I can't imagine many. I should just look through these and think of which, which of these are plausible that I would have got before. Because which of these have I actually used in my customization? And the answer is I've used a vending machine, definitely. I think I've used plastic bench. I've used a snap machine. I've used a springy ride on. I've, I, I think I've done park clock. Let, let's just get everything. I, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, look, look at our nook mount. Nook mile points. Do, do, does, do you think it matters? Dear darling, about um, how many I've got? Ah, uh, we need to clear out our mailbox as well. I don't think we're going to have enough um, room for all of this. 
It's so hot. Can I just say? <laughs> so we'll, we'll redeem three of these and then we'll go back and we'll actually clear out our mailbox because we are, uh, we have a little bit too much, you know? But this can be a sort of like chilled out episode where we're not doing anything particularly intensive. I don't have to think about conversational stuff. It's too hot. I mean, tomorrow's going to be even hotter, so I don't know why I'm trying to use up my it's too hot to think properly points now. Because I'll certainly have to be using them tomorrow. Let's get out our mailbox a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to probably scroll right to the bottom. And then for villagers who are already left, we're going to keep their first one and then we'll get rid of other ones. So Flo, Roscoe, Silvana, Hippo, Paddles, Eric, Diana. Okay, we can get rid of this. Get rid of Flo, this Flo one. We can get rid of this Eric one. I just had, had to keep in mind which ones I've already seen. Which is going to be difficult. Uh, is that the first Axel one? It's not the first Diana one. I think that's the first Axel one. Apparently all these were the first one that we kept. And Unless they've given us a birthday one. In which case we'll keep a birthday one instead, I think. But these generic ones we can just throw away. We don't need them anymore. You know, they've, they've gone. Get out right now. It's the end of you and me. So if anything, we're doing a bit of spring cleanup, but we're not. Because it's not springtime. Um, Axel. It's a shame that they haven't increased mailbox sizes as well, you know. But they've increased the other things. I can't remember if that's the first Sylvana. That's definitely not the first um, Roscoe. Obviously not the first Fuchsia. What other sort of guessing games can we do? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, this might be the point where we... No, hold on, there's another Diana here. I was like, we might have already got rid of one or duplicate ones, and then we might have to start thinking about the ones we got uh, getting rid of ones from our own villages. I'm not sure... Oh, that's probably the first Bruce one, isn't it? Mira, birthday ones. Jakey, Oi, Rowan, Wardell, Phoebe. Valentine's one's also quite nice to keep. Oh! <laughs> We're at the top. But, okay, we, we cleared out a lot of space. It turns out we had a lot more space than I thought, actually. 112 out of 150. Maybe at some point previously I already did clear out a lot of different things, but we might as well hit the, um, the ordering limit on the Nook Mile. Oh, I forgot what we ordered already. We might as well hit the, the, the ordering limit. Because I think, I think it's 10 things every day, or maybe it's 5 things. So we might as well order everything that we can, just so we can actually get through everything. I believe we did 3... Three things, so we got one, two, three, plaza ferris wheel. I'm pretty sure we've got the pool, so we don't need to do that, because I remember doing that one for Vivian's house. Yes, we, we definitely have that one. So keep redeeming until they're just like, you can't redeem stuff anymore. You've got too many things, your mailbox is not big enough. Okay, so that, that's the next one, and then I'll just make a note to myself. Over here, New Horizons start with plaza teacup ride and then when i remember to do this sort of thing we can actually um i say we i, I do say we a lot on these sort of things I, I was making note of it when i was um playing recording today i was like i say we a lot despite the fact it's it's obviously not we it's just me playing but it, it feels a bit more inclusive when i say we you know you're part part of a part of a crowd here on this journey why shouldn't i incorporate you in the little adventures or misadventures that i tend to be having um, okay, sell fruit, hit rocks, craft, and customize. That's your good old bog standard New Horizons um, Nookmar missions. Since we don't actually have much of a use for Nookmar missions anymore, you might be right, might be like, why is that? I mean, the only reason that we'd want them is to redeem things from the Nookmar store. We don't need Nookmar tickets anymore because we already have the ten villages that we we want for the rest of them. For the rest of time, who you make me feel? I forgot what, what song is this. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't know, what other sort of guessing games are there? You know, there's 20Q, uh, that's always a very favourite one. You remember there's always those little games of people playing 20Q? Um, like those little like round things, which has um, you could play 20Q with themselves. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know whoever created it, it's probably like Hasbro or something. Um, you, they were like little round spherical things, which you can play 20 questions on, you know. All my friends had them. I, I didn't have one. I never bought one. I guess I thought it was kind of pointless, but I always played them um, when my friends had them. And 
and honestly most things are very easy to outsmart and yet and you just think of something very specific and then you won't guess it but that's also not really the spirit of the game the spirit of the game is to be able to um the spirit of the game is to be able to ask um, think of something not totally specific but also not totally generic either something which is obvious enough that whoever the recipient is trying to guess would be like oh that's so obvious i can't believe i didn't get that <laughs> Or they're trying to do it at the same time. But also not obscure enough that they'll be like, how am I ever going to get that? You, you you want them to feel like, I should have got that. I can't believe I didn't get that. <laughs> I don't remember what I used to do with 20 questions. That, that was in primary school. That was very young. And I remember it was a big one as well. It was like a big old orb, like a crystal ball, which you can use to play, which I, I don't really know what's the point of having it bigger, except for just more like the spectacle of it. There's also that game where, you know, you put the, the sticky note on your head or the card on your head of like um a character or a person, etc., etc., and you had to ask questions about it. I remember one, one I did, which is really good, <laughs> which you, you can, if you ever play this game, you can feel free to steal it for yourself, is I did the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> As, um, uh, yeah, that's the right thing to tell. Uh, I, I did the Tooth Fairy. For one of the things my friend took guess, it utterly, actually, like, kind of drew, made him, not insane, but, like, obviously, he was just like, what is this? Who, who is this thing? Who, who is this person you stuck on my head? I have no idea who, what they are, and he did not get it. He eventually gave up after like I think like a hundred and something guesses. It was questions. It was, <laughs> it was, it got to a point where I was just like, man, now I just feel bad. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be. I wanted it to be tricky, but now, now it's like <laughs> distressing or something. But the, the grand revelation where he was just like, I'm pretty sure I don't know who this person is in the first place. You give me an impossible task, today, darling. And then I revealed it. I, re I revealed who it was to him, and he was like, all right, I do know. I do know what two fairies. <laughs> Because to be fair, he, he was Chinese. Um, he was like born in China, but you know, he he, 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 he did like secondary school here or something. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was worrying for a bit. I was like, oh no, maybe he's, he's never even heard of it before. <laughs> but that, that was a very funny thing, I think. You can also do the concept of death, you know, like with Grim Reaper death. I've done that before. That, that one's a, I don't think that one's as good. Not because it, I, I think it's actually trickier, but it's less satisfying to hear the answer because I, I think it's like it's such an abstract thing in the first place. But Tooth Fairy is not that abstract. I would say people, people. well, I, I guess it's a bit abstract. It's a bit like of like folklore, but it's folklore which people don't think of, which is always the interesting part. <laughs> I forget what that game's called, where you put the, the little thing on your head. I'm, I'm sure it's got a name, like Who Am I or something. Um, anyway, I know, what else? social deception games, I guess, are kind of guessing games, but I mean, it's not really the same. But guessing games are meant to be like, uh, hold on, what do we need to, well, we're not customers at all. I think the Slingshot. Uh, guessing games are meant to be simple, sort of like things you could do like in a car journey or something. Things you could play with like a, a five-year-old and they'd understand exactly the concept very quickly. So it can't be overly complicated like most social um, deduction games are. Not to say um, kids won't understand social deduction games, but you know. Something where you can explain within like 30 seconds, like I spy. I'll give a letter, first letter of something I can see and you have to guess what it is I can hear. There's fleas on your back, Phoebe. Or head, I suppose. I've been kind of itchy lately. It's super, super annoying. Maybe something's on me. Itchy. Take that. What do you think of that, Phoebe? Found this flea on you. <laughs> fleas, huh? Should have guessed as soon as I felt the itch. Anyway, good looking out. I'd have been in for some itchy nights without you having my back, boo. What? What? When do we make your slogan be? <laughs> I don't recall doing that. Anyway, I'm going to round off this episode here because I've got nothing else to talk about. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't even know what I talked about nor what I'm going to title this episode, but I suppose you'll find out for you all you've already known for yourself. So, for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>